Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Sick Eric back again with another video and today we're going to be going over how to install a Google Cam version on your Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Now this was made for the Note 9, but it works on the Samsung Galaxy S9 surprisingly and everything works on this mod um, as far as night mode uh, goes. All your settings, night sight, uh, photo booth, portrait mode works especially well on this mod. So uh, really, really cool to have everything working now. This is uh, coming to you from someone on Reddit. I'll post a link in the description down below. But um, this is the post over here on Reddit. And they posted it for the Note 9 fully working Gcam port for Snapdragon. Now keep in mind, keep in mind this is for the Snapdragon uh, Galaxy S9 Plus. Uh, it should work on all the, uh, if you're running, right now I'm running the Android Pie beta on here and it works just fine, but it should work if you're not running Android Pie. There are some settings on here if you are to go ahead and activate them, but pretty much it's gonna be going over how to install it and then the settings I'm gonna go ahead and go through what this person went through but in actual video on how to set up the settings for this mod so like I said description would be down below it was you know followed by the link and it's gonna take you to this page right here so you're gonna to want to click on this part right here which is the actual file you're gonna click download I've already downloaded it and installed it so once you're done with that it's going to uh, install and then all you have to do is go into your file manager and just go into your internal storage and then click on download and it should show up on MGC and this will be the file right here you're gonna to want to click on that and it will ask you if you want to install you know you go through all your install processes etc so once you're done with that now we're going to go ahead and go into the settings because if you just download that and then start using it it's not going to look right it's going to be really really yellow as far as taking pictures and it's not going to look very nice or anything so you have to go through a process of setting things up so without you know further ado let's go ahead and jump in to the settings. So once you're in the settings, you're gonna go ahead and just go through this list. So the first one is going to be, uh, you're gonna go into your quick settings and then you're gonna hit advance and then you're gonna go to base and then you're gonna click on interface style. Click on that and you're gonna wanna make sure that it is pixel three for the front and the back. And then the model, the camera, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that's Pixel 3 XL for the back, and then for the front, Pixel 3 XL. And once you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead and go back to the actual settings. And for number two, it's gonna be quick settings, advanced, and then final JPEG quality. So you're gonna look for Final JPEG quality, which is the second one, and you're going to want to click 100%. And that is that for that setting. Go back to your settings, and for number three, you're going to go to advanced again, and then you're going to look for others. Let's see if you can find it, and you're going to enable Google Photo. So right here, it's going to be all the way towards the bottom, enable Google Photo. And you're just going to click that on and then go back to your normal settings for number four you're going to want to go to quick settings advanced and then fix under others click on that and then you're going to want to uh, let's see go to raw format and then you're going to want to click raw sensor on that one and then uh, for viewfinder, you're going to want to click on that and you're going to choose the middle one, which is the YUV 
420.888 default and then you're going to go back on that and then what you're also going to want to do is fix you're going to want to click on fix old white balance gains once you do this you're going to have to reboot your phone so you could do that last if you want and that is the last one to do and then once you're done with that you're going to want to click reboot and then you should be ready to go now there's some other tweaks that you could do for this also which if you go to settings advanced and then click portrait which is i don't know there's a couple advanced on here click down here uh, let's see hdr plus you want to make sure that is on under portrait there's another advanced i know there is just trying to find it so we're going to go to advanced portrait right here and you're going to make sure advanced hdr plus is clicked on right there and then you're going to go back to your settings and then you're going to go to advanced <clears throat> as well and then you're going to scroll on down to night site and you're going to hit alternative config now this is for if you're running Android Pie or anything above Android 8.1 and you're going to make sure that is clicked on and that will get you better night sight uh, photos. I'll, I'll go through and show you some uh, pictures that I took with the uh, Google camera and then the Samsung camera as well once I'm done with all of this. So for step number three, you're going to go to settings. Now this is uh, like as far as a little tweaker. The first one was the actual setup process settings and then this one is just if you want to add on so number three is going to be quick settings advanced and then you're going to go to hdr settings uh, right here and then you're going to go to libs click on libs and then you're going to want to choose the last one which is custom by as as man and then you're going to click that last one c s e u s for that setting right there click on it and you should be ready to go and then you're going to go back to your settings and then you're going to go to uh, quick settings and minimal smoothing Let's see if i can find that and you're going to want to click this and this will reduce noise reduction and increase brightness so you're going to want to click minimal smoothing and then go back to settings and then for quick settings hit advanced and then you're going to make sure that all of these first three, I believe, are clicked, which you are ready to go. And then that is the Google camera. As you can see, everything works portrait mode. Now, as far as portrait mode on the, on the rear camera, it will only do faces. It won't do objects or anything like that, which is a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. Oh, you got your panorama. You got your camera. You got your video. And then you, have, you also have all your settings right here. And everything does work. You flip it around. As you can see right there, you can see me. You got your portrait mode. You got your camera. You got your video. And then you got more. And then once you go back to portrait, you have options up here for beauty. You could take that off. You could do natural. You could do soft. And then you also have options for your flash to where it'll light up the entire screen and take a picture of what your selfie camera in the dark so that is pretty cool you also have timers and temperature and stuff like that so there's a lot of options for this camera and it takes really good pictures so let's with that being said we're going to go ahead and go into the gallery and i'm going to go ahead and show you some pictures that i took hopefully they come out well since it is on the um the phone that i'm going to be showing you right here so let's go ahead and jump down into it so this was a video that was taken this one is going to be the Samsung, uh, using a Samsung app to take this video. Samsung camera, nighttime, 4K, 60 frames per second. As you can see, it is really dark. Samsung camera. And this is 4K, 60 frames per second. And then this one is going to be the Google camera which is very, very grainy. So I would suggest GTM. nighttime mode, not working as great 
on the nighttime video, but the daytime video, when you have a lot of light, it does work really great. It's just for some reason there's a lot of it's grain. Really grainy on the viewfinder. If you have any suggestions for that, uh, comment down below and we could get this fixed. So this one is portrait mode taken with the Google camera. And or this is just the uh, regular camera mode taken with the Google camera using the flash. As you can see, great detail. This is at night, so it's really dark outside. And this is using the flash. This one is the Samsung camera. As you can see, it's still really good, but there is a little bit more detail and a little bit better color uh, reproduction on the Google camera side. It looks really, really nice and clean. Samsung, Google camera. And then this is using the Samsung camera outside, keep in mind really really dark outside it is nighttime and then this is the google camera as you can see the sky lights up quite a bit on this one as you can see the lights are a little bit blown out on the samsung camera and then on the google camera everything just looks like really really brighter and really nicer looking like almost like it's dusk outside and then this one is just a picture of my cat this one is the Samsung camera. And then this one is the Google camera. And how you could tell is the Google camera is saving the title as IMG. Samsung is just regular title. It says a JPEG number. Google camera, Samsung camera, pretty similar. This is regular indoors. And this is outside. This is the Google camera. And this is still daylight. So this one and this is the Samsung one. Pretty similar in color. Google camera has a little bit more detail in the clouds. And in the tree. And has a little bit more light into it. And this is just a regular video. I believe this one is the Samsung at... Uh, Ultra 4K, 60 frames per second. This is daylight. So as you can see, really, really good. Samsung, no surprise there. Really good picture quality and video quality. Audio quality is the same on both. Really, really good. So that is that one. And then this one is going to be the Google camera. 4k 30 frames per second now i'm not sure if it's actually doing 30 frames since this phone can do 60 frames so it might be doing 60 so this is the google camera so let's go ahead and go back see if we can uh, get some details on this so this is uh resolution 4k is not telling me the actual details on that one and then this is a regular picture. Uh, this one is the portrait mode for the Samsung. This one is portrait mode for the Google Pixel. As you can tell, the back is blurred out perfectly. Samsung Live Focus, Google. Actually, this one is the Samsung Live Focus. As you can see, portrait the uh, portrait mode on this is okay. Google's a little bit more better and a lot more cleaner especially around the edges Google Samsung and this is a regular port regular uh, front-facing camera this one is the Samsung taken with the Samsung camera app this one is taken with the Google camera app As you can see a lot more detail in the picture quality on this one Google Samsung Google Samsung so it takes really, really good pictures and really enjoying it a lot. So hopefully this helps you guys out to install this and get this installed on your Samsung Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, or Note 9. And it does work. Like I said, all thanks to that person over on Reddit. Just thought I'd make a video. Hopefully that is okay with, the, with all of that. And uh, just want to show you guys how to install this on your 
But with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and this gets you up and running to install the Google Pixel or the Google Cam on your Samsung Galaxy device. And this works really, really great. Night mode is a lot better than it is on the Samsung camera app and everything works perfectly. So without further ado, thank you guys for watching. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you got any questions, post them in the comment below. I'll try to help you guys out if you have any trouble setting this up. But everything is on that uh, link that I'm going to post down below so you can follow it step by step. Just wanted to do this video for you guys to make it a little bit easier. But thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of your night. Peace.